Today is um, one of the greatest feasts in the life of the church. And uh, I so much love the feast of today because it is the center of our faith that Jesus had given us himself in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Our worship revolves around the blessed sacrament. A lot of things come to mind, but I'm going to try to um, focus on just a few points so that we will keep going. When I was in the seminary, the hymn book, the hymn book we used, it was when I came over here that I realized maybe the person that, the people that compiled that hymn book must have lifted lots of hymns from this part of the world because a lot of hymns in your hymn book, we sang them in the seminary, although there are some of them um, that we aren't here that, is, that could not be found in your hymn book, but some others, I know there must have been some um, compilations. And one of them about the Eucharist goes this way. Look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your God. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. He says, look beyond the bread you eat. See your Savior and your God. Look beyond the cup you drink. See his love poured out as blood. And this is true. The hosts that is placed on your palm or on your tongue for those who receive on the tongue is not just a piece of cookies no this is the body of Christ and Christ is truly present before the COVID in most churches the Communion is received in bo both species, but since the COVID, a lot of churches have not come back. Since after COVID left, a lot of people have not come back, although COVID had not, COVID had not actually um, disappeared. But the wine, the chalice you drink, is not just another kind of a wine, but the blood of Christ the blood of Christ. We need to reflect over this reality because what we do not focus on would hardly benefit us or we would hardly come to know what we do not pay attention to. Many people receive the Holy Communion without paying attention to it. In other words, without reflecting on it. In other words, without meditating on it. By so doing, we remain at the, just the surface level. We only have a surface understanding, a superficial understanding of the Holy Eucharist. But now, when you, and if you will Focus on it, give it your time and attention, meditate on it, reflect on it, ponder on it. Then the reality will begin to dawn on you and, the, and your faith in the Holy Eucharist will rise. Truly, there is power in the Holy Eucharist and Jesus is there. The best moment of my life are the, best, are the moments I spend with Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. The moment I spend with him exposed. I do that always. 
even in Grange Mott, even though we do not have chapel in the house where I stay in Grange Mott, but sometimes at the middle of the night, I would expose the Blessed Sacrament in the living room, stay with Jesus, worship him. One hour, two hours, I repose again. This is powerful. It is his presence. He is truly present. Jesus is truly present. When you want to approach to receive, bear in mind that Jesus is truly present. He is truly present. Um, one of the stories written by, by St. Maria Faustina, um, the apostle of divine mercy, in her diary, she wrote that on one of the occasions she came to the altar to receive the, the Holy Communion, she managed to look into the ciborum the priest carried, and saw that among all the hosts there, there was one particular, one single bread that was apparently different from others just different from others it looked as if it was alive the color looked a bit different and it was even that one that the priest took and gave to her so she said when she went back to her seat knelt down and was reflecting praying and she asked the lord in her heart lord why was it that one single host seemed to be alive among others and why was it that it is the particular one the priest gave me now jesus said many others come to receive me without knowing that I am there, without faith. But you have faith, and that is why I come alive in you. So anytime you tell yourself that this is Jesus, he is here, he's he going to bless me, he's going to heal me, so it is. Faith is the currency. And whenever I expose the blessed sacrament, I like to sing some of the hymns that really call my attention to the real presence of jesus and one of them is one we also sing it in this church and the, I, I i always love that song whenever we sing it it even makes the presence of the lord available somehow because the um the mystery of spiritual things is that the answer when you call them by their names when you call them for what they are so that one that says be still for the presence of the lord the, the holy one is here come bow before him now with reverence and fear in him no sin is found we stand on holy ground be still for the presence of the Lord the Holy One is here I tell you there is something that happens in this church whenever we sing that song we sing the first stanza the second and the third I could feel the presence of the Lord that's how these things happen and that is why meditation is good, and that is why prayer is good. Not just the prayer we make with our hearts, in our hearts, the silent prayers, but the prayers we also voice out. We call them by their names. And the, um, there was a condition laid down in, that, in this hymn we just sang, that in him no sin is found. So we stand on holy ground and this is the criterion for you to experience his grace his power his presence in him no sin is found so for us to stand before him the ground where we stand must be holy literally that's why um, the angels said to moses put away your sandals for where you stand is a holy ground it means drop off every wave Put away every unbelief. Put away every sin. And know that you are in the presence of the Lord. It is my prayers that our faith in the Holy Eucharist will grow. And that our love for Jesus will rise. That even though we come to receive him every time now and then, we don't lose 
sight of the fact that this is Jesus. I remember...